if you do enjoy my FIFA content or you just love saying I'm shit at FIFA in the comments, then click the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm doing these types of videos because I'm trying to forfeit for like not having an Elgato because I'm still trying to work out to get a replacement for that. I'm trying to um, get a hold of Elgato to send me a replacement because I'm in the UK it's harder than send so I'm trying to find videos that don't involve a console so that's why I'm doing these Photoshop type videos um, so yeah these are the this is the top five summer chances um, there's probably some I've missed big ones I miss like for example like Swineslager but I don't I didn't put him in here yeah we got top five and basically these are gonna be the top five best players to or good players to have in FIFA 16 or in just real life in general but yeah uh, and number five we've got Zerdan Zerdan Sakiri if I probably butchered his name but um, Shakiri um, he was playing uh, against Norwich um, at, in Norwich when I was in Norwich and I'm I don't know I don't think he was the one that scored the goal but um, recently he's been playing um, at right wing he's been playing on the right um, so it's debatable whether he's gonna be at cam or right mid um, but I believe he's been playing at that cam right mid position at Stoke uh, recently so um, definitely if he's gonna be a cam um, he's gonna be played at strike quite a lot um, I see that happening because of his pace and his dribbling. Um, his shooting's alright, um, so that would be a great way to have him as a striker, as well as having his pace he can play at a right mid or right wing position. Um, at number four, we have got Depay. That is also debatable whether you can put him at number four or at number one, but um, the order these uh, are going to be in doesn't really matter, to be honest. I don't know if they're going to matter or... You guys can rearrange them in what order you think they should be in. Um, so yeah, we got Depay, um, probably one of the early summer transfers that was probably confirmed, like one of the first confirmed transfers that everyone was talking about. Um, Man United are also going for, they're trying to get as many players as they possibly can. They're trying to go for Neymar, they're trying to go for Bale, they're trying to get like every single player on the planet very much. But uh, Depay was probably one of the best ones moving these the amazing players to the BPL. Whether Depay will have 5 star skills in FIFA 16, if they do that, that would be another one of EA, EA's mistakes, as um, like having um, Ibra moved down to 4 star skills, was probably one of the biggest mistakes EA ever made. Um, a lot of people hate EA for that, but um, yeah, Depay was also a great transfer, um, he's doing great at, uh, in uh, Manchester United at the moment. I haven't really watched him, but I've seen him in highlights and stuff and he's been he's doing really great um and yeah so that's that uh number three this is probably a bit biased because uh, being a west ham fan but probably Pia is probably the best chance west ham have had in a long time uh Pia's provided a lot for west ham so far helping them win uh beat arsenal 2-0 and also yesterday liverpool 3-0 which is incredible never thought that would actually happen um a lot of people having it on the radio and stuff saying what's happening to football why is chelsea being beaten by crystal palace and man city and why is west ham beating all these decent amazing uh teams um there's no it's obvious that liverpool is also a, a lot better team than west ham but that may be a one-off or it might be an ongoing thing that will keep West Ham in the top 10 of the Premier League. But yeah, um, that is uh, Payet, uh, the incredible transfer for West Ham. A lot of people are debating why why is he going to West Ham, why didn't he go for a bigger club. But West Ham, he's in the BPL and that will be a good player to have in your BPL teams. And then we go on to number two, we've got Otamendi, um, a recently uh, transferred player moving to Man City. Otamendi's only, I've only really noticed him on the scene this year in FIFA 15, getting a team of the season, um, a lot of informs uh, at um, Valencia, I think that is. I don't, I can't, yeah, I think it is. Uh, but yeah, um, he has been great this season and him again moving to the BPL has been like all of these players have moved to the BPL, which is, which is incredible. Um, but Otamendi, I think he has a lot of potential moving to uh, Man City alongside Company, as Company is going getting old at his old age, and he has got great defending. So yeah, and then we go on to number one. We have got Pedro, who's also recently signed one. This is a funny one because everyone was debating into in the newspapers and everything. He was going, is he going to go to Man City or is he going to go to Man United? 
completely flipped all around and moved to Chelsea and got and scored a goal on his uh, on his debut. Incredible. Um, I think that is the goal that got him a team of the week in FIFA 15. Um, but that team of the week is a right wing card, so I'm guessing he played a right right mid or right wing on that game. But um, he also is the fault card as a left mid. But uh, Barcelona had no use for him anymore because of Neymar. And that's why he moved to a new club, so he can have more game time. But yeah, um, they are the top five trans uh, summer transfers. If you have different uh, summer transfers uh, uh, that you want to talk about, leave that in the comments, and I'll look into it. Um, leave a comment down, down below what videos you want me to do, as I don't have a console um, to record. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.